So you're thinking of moving to Godrich, Ontario, or maybe you just want to be along the shores of Lake Huron and you're trying to figure out which city you actually want to live in. Well, today we are standing in the square in Godrich. You can tell from the beautiful buildings behind me that this town is very special. There's actually a concert going on there. So I'm going to walk this way so you can actually hear me talk. Godric is actually a rare example of a town that was surveyed and designed before they actually began any construction. So the square is comprised of eight streets that are linked at the core by eight business blocks. A phenomenal design. You can get lost if you're not from here driving around that circle, but it offers so many amenities at your fingertips. Great businesses like Kate's Cafe, you have Eco Surf Shot, and many, many others that are in this area. So clearly tons of activity, beautiful architecture. Godrich is growing as well. There's lots of new communities that are popping up. Development is pending along the coastline. And when you have a town of 8,000 people close to so many other amazing towns, you go south, you have Bayfield, you have Grand Bend, you go north, you have King Carden, you end up going up to Collingwood, the Muskoka areas. You can understand why people are looking at this proximity is power. But in this video, we're gonna do what we always do. We're gonna take you look at some real estate, show you what you can buy for the different price points. We're gonna take you down to the beach. We're gonna have a lot of fun. So let's get after it. It's your first time to the channel. You wanna know everything about living in Southwestern Ontario or in today's case, Goddard, Ontario. Make sure you smash that subscription and that notification button. People just like you are calling us every single day looking to get relocated. I don't care if you're moving in one day or 100, give us a shout and we will definitely connect you with the right people and places to get you situated. But you wanna look at some real estate, you wanna to go to the beach, let's have some fun. Welcome to Godrich Harbor Lookout. Absolutely one of my favorite views. If you're in town, take a photo from here, tag me in it. If you wanna see this, jump in the comments and let me know. But Godrich has done a phenomenal job maintaining itself as a historic town and it's a huge vacation getaway, but it is a full year round town as well. Population of 8,000 and it's nestled on the southwest coast of Lake Huron, amazing fishing. I actually literally stand in the river right there and fish for steelhead. They run in the fall and in the spring and the Maitland actually cuts right up along the back, one of the most beautiful rivers for fishing. Year round activities in the area, Godrich literally has it all. So for those looking for recreation, coming to Godrich is like walking into Ikea looking for furniture. There is absolutely tons of recreation. I'm actually standing at the beach by the Rotary Trail. One of my favorite things about Godrich is how they did the redevelopment. They have one of the most beautiful trails all along. They have exercise equipment here. You'll see people paddle boarding, like I said earlier in the video. I come here, here I go fishing all the time. There's tons of boating activities and in the winter time, this place is truly, truly special. I come down here just to photograph it, it is that unique. There is a YMCA that has a hockey arena, indoor pool, two full gyms, there's theaters, there's the Maitland Recreational Center. And like I said many, many times in many different videos, the Maitland River is one of my favorite fishing spots. In the wintertime, you'll find snowmobile trails. The list literally goes on and on. So if you live an African lifestyle, Godrich may be one of those places that you wanna live. All right, now that we talked about how awesome Godrich is, I figured I would take you and actually show you some values so you can see what the beautiful Maitland River, Lake Huron, and this city has to offer in terms of dollars and price points. So we're gonna focus on Godrich proper. Keep in mind, the whole coastline has a variety of options, waterfront and not. We'll get into that in some other videos, but let's go right to the square. This is where we started the video, where you saw me walking around. That $4.3 million development opportunity is not something we're gonna to cover today, but if you are a developer and you're interested in land acquisition let me know we definitely have some insights to share with you on that because we're very active in the new dev space but there's a property for 799 i wanted to show you right here single family property has a beautiful curb appeal very classic and this is very typical of the area you can tell you know some people would look at the interior and say oh it needs to be updated but other people would fall in love with the character and charm of fireplaces like this maybe you'd want to replace the carpet maybe do some work in the kitchen but it all depends on what you want and this is 49 and nelson street listed for sale currently right now we'll show you a couple other options as we move to different parts of godrich 
So if I look at this, here's a bungalow. You can get into it for $5.99. And if you look at it, it has a nice little backyard fire pit, has a covered porch area, nicely updated inside. So for price point, should give you some context that there is some good affordability in the area. Now keep in mind, this one was listed for $6.49 and was recently reduced. As of shooting this video, we are September 2022. As of May to September, the interest rate hikes have really caused a lull in the real estate market, meaning these properties probably would have traded in the 750 to 900 range back in February or March. How long will this market last? We do a lot of market update videos on this channel, so you can see my opinions on that. And we are tracking the data, so make sure you subscribe to get those updates if you're interested in it. But to me, this is a good deal for a property if you want to live in the area. Currently, if you go down to Sunset Drive, there's another single family residence, 574. I don't believe this one has an attached garage, vacant inside, nicely updated stainless steel appliances and should give you an idea of value. I'm going to go back down to this one because it is interesting. It looks like another development site too. It is this whole site right here and you're seeing newer hotels and development happening in the area. So a lot of people are interested in cities like Godrich from a growing potential because they don't have to pay the same acquisition costs they would in a Toronto or London. And this city is slated for quite a bit more growth. I'm going to go up here at 489. There's also another property. It looks like it's probably in the, you know, 20 to 30 a year range. It looks like you could do some updating on the inside, but good opportunity, right? A hundred thousand dollars cheaper than the other one you were looking at. And maybe, you know, by the time you do kitchens, flooring, paint, bathrooms, you can make it your own. So if you're handy, jump in the comments. I want to know if you like doing projects. And then as you go out, you're getting closer to the beach. These areas that are just out of the proximity, you're going to see the price points jump. So this is 859. And I bet you this one's pretty close to the beach. Sure is. You can see the Lake Huron right there. And the price points for cottage properties can range. Now I can tell you waterfront properties can range dramatically. Everybody wants beautiful beach. I would say nice sandy beach teardowns are probably selling in the 20 to 30,000 a front foot, depending on the setup of the property, meaning you're probably in that $1.2 million range. I have a spectacular property for sale um, in Port Albert, just north of this area for 1.8 gorgeous sandy beach. Very, very private. Um, it actually has three unique ecosystems. If you want to see that video, go look at the Bowers video in our listings video section. But that should give you a quick snapshot of what you can buy for your money if you're more interested in knowing more specific values or different types. Investments, if you're looking for multifamilies, we can definitely cover that in another video. Jump in the comments, let me know, and I will shoot it for you. Well, thanks for joining us on another neighborhood tour. If you like Godrich, smash that thumbs up button. If you don't jump in the comments, let me know why. If you're looking to relocate to the area, just hit the links below. You can connect with us on a one-on-one -on -one call and learn more about the area and what it's like to work with our team. People just like you are calling us every single day off these videos, looking for the very best places to live. So if you're somebody looking for real estate, I don't care if it's in Southwestern Ontario, Texas, Vancouver, Montreal, connect with us. We'll connect you with the very best people on the planet. If it happens to be in our area, I cannot wait to meet you and make you part of the Prime family. But make sure you subscribe not to miss any of our future videos and market updates. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one.